yo, yo, man, what it is and what it ain't, man. It's your boy B.L. Ratchet from the We Are Florida podcast, presented by Mitch One Essentials. And I'm here today with special co host Zay Cartier. What up, y'all? And I'm in here with special, special, special guest today. Hey, man, what's up with it, man? It's your boy Charleston White. Facts, facts. Yeah. So, how your day is today, my boy? Oh, uh, shit, it's been going good, man. Uh, nigga, I've been over at the uh, Sausage Castle. Okay. What yeah, that yeah, is? Yeah. What's that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it, it sounds like a dick factory. Oh, uh, <laughs> But shit, it's a motherfucking me. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a pussy house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a house. Uh, the houses. I think he got like a hundred and some women, man. So uh, like a whole house. Yeah. Well, well he like the modern day. Uh, 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 Mike Mike Busey. Uh, 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 he's the nephew of uh, 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 uh what's that 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 crazy motherfucking name? Uh, 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 played in first forty eight. What was his name? Uh, always on drugs, going to jail. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a little young, so hold on. Man, what's Busey first name, man? What's his name? Gary. Gary? Yeah, Gary Busey, man. So he played okay. in first 48. Uh, not first 48. Uh, 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy. Uh, I mean, he played in a lot of movies, mm. uh, but but very famous actor. But he have a nephew out here, man, that, that has this big old compound to like 120-some acres. Uh, he got a gun range. Uh, man, it's like a like the Playboy Mansion. Uh, y'all look it up, man. It's, it's, it's a bad motherfucker. That's yeah, crazy. I ain't never heard that. Hold I ain't up. never heard that. Be right it's, here on the, it's I know. Porn. It's like a porn house, homie. So all, all the celebrities when they come into town, uh, they they normally stop there rather than going to a strip club. So they, so their house is like a a, a, a built in living. Private. In. Yeah, it's like uh, Michael Jackson's uh, uh, Michael Jackson's ranch, Neverland <laughs> Ranch, but for grown folk that's in the porn. Hang out. Yeah, he okay, yeah, is okay. a bad motherfucker. <laughs> for, sure, for sure, for sure. So, like, you know what I'm saying? We we welcome you, you know what I'm saying, to our audience. So, like, for the yeah, people that know. a bunch of young motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. A whole bunch of you young, a whole bunch of young <laughs> boys, young them, niggas. Them goddamn guns with the switching on and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Hey, y'all. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, like, where you from? You know what I'm saying? I see you got Texas all over you. Where you from? Yeah, I'm from, I'm, from, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, man. Uh. Uh, which is the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex? Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's two different worlds. Dallas and Fort Worth, two different worlds. But you know, they brothers, and, you know, big brother, little brother. Okay. Uh, but I was born and raised in Fort Worth, and then I grew up in the boys' home. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm one of them juvenile niggas. <laughs> yeah, I ain't no penitentiary nigga. I'm a juvenile nigga. So how you how was it um growing up in Texas? Uh, like where you was at in Texas? Uh, I I, I was explaining to somebody today. I, I'm the first generation of, of Dr. King's dream. So when 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 America started integrating, uh, so I was born in 1977. I'm 46 years old. So I went to school in the 80s and the 90s. So uh, I, I'm like really the first generation of, of black children in America that really started integrating with white people. So if you if you think about most of all of my friends, they went to all black schools. Uh, most of them niggas didn't start dealing with white people until they started getting in trouble with the law. So they had black school teachers. Uh, so I'm f- as far back as third grade, homie. I went to school with white people, so I, I knew how to engage and interact uh, w- with other cultures. Okay. So uh, I feel like that was an advantage. Mm. Uh, growing up outside the hood, so uh, I was born in the hood, but I wasn't raised in it. So okay. I, I don't have no recollection uh, or no memory uh, of growing up in the hood. So uh, I'm I'm the product of a, a middle class suburban kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, I'm the suburb baby. Uh. That they got relatives in the hood, and and I went over there on the weekends and, and played in the hood, uh, and 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 learned the hood in a matter of a few days. But I didn't grow up in the hood. Okay, so like you know what I'm saying, when you learn in the hood in a matter of a few days, would you say like you, you was around a lot of bad influences that made you end up in the boys' home? Nah, uh, how you ended uh, up there? Uh, just being juvenile delinquent, uh. Um, my mother worked a lot, so I had a lot of free time and a lot of spare time. Uh, but the culture influenced me. So, so it's like it's like the kid who, who, he not from the hood, but his grandmama and them live in the hood. His, his mama's mama, right, or his dad's mom. So yo, so my mom, so when I went over my cousin them house on the weekend, we doing all the hood shit because the kids in the hood, they. They they have more exposure to bullshit. So uh 
I, I didn't hear or see nobody having sex in my house. Okay. But if I went over my aunts and over my cousins and over my uncle in them houses, I'm going I'm to hear and see all the grown, because that's where they party yeah. and fucking have sex at. It's down in the ghetto. Yeah. So on the weekend, if you go to the projects, you go see all the... Uh, all the bullshit, homie. You gonna see all the negative shit. You gonna see the people who 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 like to get drunk and fight. Uh, you go you go you you, you go get exposed to all all the bullshit. Whereas if you come from a a a, a structured home life, uh, you won't get you won't get exposed to any of that. So so that's where you pick up uh your 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 your, your sexual habits from. You know your perverted uncles. Uh, <laughs> you know the 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 the. the you know the nigga who like your mama, and, and and he coming over, and when he fuck your mama, he got her making all kind of noises in there, <laughs> cause he putting that dick on a rocking that headboard, and, and y'all and y'all in a two bedroom apartment, and, yeah. the, and your her room right here, your room right Lost here, and you, can, you can hear that motherfucker rock, <laughs> boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? And, and and so you know every time the door close, you know mama fucking. For sure. Uh, so so you get to see all kind of bullshit. Yeah, I uh, seen um I. Uh, I remember you saying um, you went you was a juvenile. How did that um, how did that change you? Oh, uh, and then what age was you a juvenile? So 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 this is what made me think going to jail. I grew up believing that going to jail was cool. So just like right now, you got a whole generation of young people who believe YouTube thugging. Uh, who 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 believe? Uh, nah, nigga, it's it's some young niggas who 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 believe killing somebody is cool. Yeah. they want they oh, want yeah. they want a body. And, and nigga, they don't give a damn about nothing they but want getting the body. So, uh, and, and they don't understand that nigga, you may not ever come home catching his body. You don't understand that when you catch this body, nigga, ten years from now you might be fucking a punk because you got a life sentence. You yes. don't know what you go do, nigga. So, uh, for us, long before killing came along, we just wanted to go to jail, homie. Because we felt like that's what made you a man. It's just like you heard all the OG niggas who give interviews and they be talking about how they just did 20 years and I walked on this yard and nigga, it was a tough year. That those are stripes a nigga wanted. I, I wanted I I wanna be 46 telling y'all, yeah, nigga, I did 19 motherfucking years and I kicked ass. I would like to have them stories to tell, uh, because that's what I aspired to have at one point in time. So uh, my uncle been to prison. Uh, my grandfather been to federal prison. My other uncle's been to prison. Uh, all of my mom's cousins been to prison. So my brother started going to the boys' home. So, nigga, me growing up, watching all these black men go to prison, nigga, you grew up believing that prison is a part of manhood, right? So not only do you see this in your family, when you go over your homeboy house, his daddy in prison. His uncle coming home from prison. His brother going to prison. Uh, nigga, when you watch all the videos, long before they started putting guns in videos, they started putting niggas behind jail bars rapping. Mm -hmm. So they wasn't giving us dead bodies. So long before they started giving us dead, dead bodies, they gave us imagery. Niggas rapping behind jail. So one of uh, NWA's first songs, Express Yourself, the nigga was rapping from jail. So then they started sliding in the outline chalk of dead bodies long before they gave us the images of dead bodies. Then they just started showing us a nigga laying in the street with just blood running. Nigga, now they showing guns, this whole, the whole thing of murder now. So they just painted prison for us, right? So what prison was doing, they was, they was feeding and creating uh, and, and fueling mass incarceration. So... The images that they was giving us was feeding the prison system. Uh, nigga, the images that, that y'all get not only feed the prison system, but it also feeds the graveyard, which ultimately uh, helps uh, uh, organ uh, selling, right? Young nigga dying in 19, 20, 14, 15. Boy, them some healthy motherfucking organs, nigga. That not only do his dead body uh, uh, bring value to the funeral home, but nigga, when they get through... Or uh, uh, doing his autopsy and sell his liver for fifty thousand, sell his kidney for a hundred thousand, sell his lung, <laughs> nigga. So they selling and that brain. shit they happening. Selling, nigga, they selling, that shit they, happening. Yeah, homie, they selling organs on young niggas' ass. I already know. So, uh, so it, it, it's almost an incentive for for young people to die, except for the young people that's dying, cause they ain't got no insurance policies. Mm -hmm. So, me growing up, my nigga, I want to go to jail. Uh, uh. 
I want to go to prison because I want to be a man, and I thought that's what made you a man. True, true. So, like, you watch the BET Awards? No. Why you ain't watch them? Uh, I ain't into that bullshit. And plus, I had <laughs> I had uh I had five shows, man. Uh, I did five shows in uh, Jacksonville, Florida last weekend. So, uh, we did five shows in, in in three days in one city. Uh, and, and, and then I I'm, I'm not uh. Nigga, I'm I'm award show out. I've been watching awards since Michael Jackson moonwalked yeah. across the stage for most Did Motown. you catch any of the recap of it though? Nah. None of that. Nah. Okay. I ain't into none of that shit. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I don't watch basketball, <laughs> I don't watch football, I don't watch none of that shit. So so I'ma just I'm gonna just jump to one question real quick. Yeah. How you feel about uh Uzi dropping you on his album, bro? Uh I was lit, Connor. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy in the bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now uh they 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 contacted me. Uh, what was that Thursday night before before he uh before he did that, uh because they got they got to get permission. Facts. Uh, just like sampling the song. That's yeah. why I asked too, cause I'm like I know I know yeah. for sure they got to get yeah, permission. Yeah, they, uh, mm-hmm. hell yeah, they had to get permission. It's a feature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, yeah. and so uh, they they cut me a nice little check, and so my I, I my my attorney I have an attorney uh we negotiating all uh, the royalties on it, but yeah, nigga, I get a I'm, I get a future publishing check for whatever I'm already whatever knowing. Should do so. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's so dope. He, he really blessed my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then and, and then shout out to that shout out to that little nigga, right? Cause cause the cause I wasn't speaking favorable uh, uh, of him, right? So yeah, he he could he could have got offensive and be like, man, fuck that old, you know? So like everybody else, yeah, like everybody yeah, else, like, so like like, like big folks. Yeah. Oh well, I don't even know how. I don't even know him. So yeah, I was gonna ask you: Have you ever met Big Folks nah, in person? I, I, I don't even know where Why he came from. Why you speaking on you and Dewberry? Oh, uh, uh, he saw that dick. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you seen that dick. Why, uh, bro? Listen, walk us through the whole little cock ring Charlie thing. Why? Why? Uh, throw him, that? Throw that cock ring to me, Dewberry. Yeah. What is a cock ring? For uh, the people I, that don't I, know, I, I don't know, but I got one. I got some now. I got my own line of cock rings now. You got your own line uh, of cock rings. Nah, man, that nigga, uh, that nigga, band man, Kiwi. Was sending me a bunch of messages he one day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that nigga was sending me a bunch of pictures and, 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 and video, man, of him lifting up some shit. Uh, you <laughs> know, like lifting up some shit. <laughs> uh, you know, flexing his body like them real muscles. Uh, so you know, nigga, I, to me, I don't know about nobody else. The most disrespectful thing you can do to a man is these three things right here: slap him. That's worse than punching him. Swear to God. Spitting on him. Mm. A flat nigga suck my dick. It, it, homie, it's some, it's some, it's some old niggas. If you say suck my dick, I'll kill you. That's the most disrespectful thing. Oh yeah, I'm so, from New York. And if you if you say that to the wrong person, yeah, you homie, definitely you, get smacked. Or, or, or you grab your dick, or or you be reckless with your homie. It's some niggas I know who 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 have been killed in prison cuz they didn't flash their dick to the wrong that's the most disrespectful shit that you can do right so nigga if you bother me in my inbox or if you call my phone or you don't got my phone number and you ain't supposed to have it guess what's coming to you that dick I won't do. I'm gonna speak so, because. So you sent in there, so you sent <laughs> big folks. I didn't send big folks nothing. I don't know how big folks saw that dick. I sent you my sent ben, man. I sent it to Kiwi. So in my mind <laughs> In my mind, if I open my phone up and it's a dick in a message, that's traumatizing. Oh, man, motherfucker, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to feel violated. Oh, man. If I walk in and you pin, oh, man, that's my reaction to a dick, right? Oh, you know, that kind of shit. So, man, I said, I sent that nigga that dick, man. (laughs) <laughs> and that bitch ass nigga, I saw them buttons. That's the way he's saying it for me, bro. For sure. <laughs> I, I saw them buttons. The... <laughs> I saw them buttons. You know? I see y'all in the comments going through it with them last night. Oh, uh, no, nah, nah, that wasn't shit. me. I ain't in no comment. Okay. Homie, you, 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 you don't, homie, I don't make, I, I don't watch other nigga videos, yeah. homie. Uh, I, I'm, uh, so, so when I send this nigga this picture, I don't know how his manager, I never heard of his manager before in my life. Uh, I don't know what he do, so... When, when, you, you, you got that thing, do ready the cock ring? Yeah, he from Chicago, and I know he had, man, I know he had men in his little mouth. Damn, mouse. I left him at that man house. God, I left all three of them. Damn. Uh, so, so I don't know nothing about Chicago, homie. Yeah. Uh, other than Larry Hoover, uh, Twister, uh, Kanye West, the Chicago Bulls. So I don't really know nothing about, uh, uh about, so Chicago culture is not really, not really, uh, we're not familiar with it in Texas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we adapted to the, the, the Crip and Blood culture. Yeah. So, 
when I see this nigga on her talking, him and the nigga had already been sending Dewberry a bunch of messages. So I'm saying, man, uh, man, them nigga must be fascinated by that dick. Why would they edit, man? Nigga send me a dick. I'm blocking them niggas, homie. And then I'm saying to myself, homie, what kind of nigga with a new body? This nigga got a brand new body with, with muscles uh, like the Mr. t doll. This nigga got Bentley's and, 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 and taking trips around the world. What the fuck is he doing messaging me at 3, 4, 2 o'clock in the morning? Man, this nigga, yeah, that's, yeah, man, he hollow on the inside. He empty. Uh, so, I don't know what made the big titty nigga uh, start talking. <laughs> uh, and then he went to Charlie, cock ring Charlie. Cock ring Charlie. And I'm thinking, he, well, I didn't send him my dick. How he know what that dick look like? So, he described a ring around my dick. And I said, you know what? That's that circumcision ring. You know, when you get circumcised, it's a cut around your dick. It's a print. You can't hide. All circumcised niggas know what I'm talking about. The turtleneck <laughs> dick niggas don't know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> the turtleneck. Yeah, so, so I'm saying, man, that nigga looking at that circumcision ring and done give it a name. Well, I didn't know what a cock ring was. So they said, no, nah, man, there's some real cock rings. Uh, so, nigga, I got off of my own line of cock rings. Oh, uh, I thought I I thought I brought it, but now they they some little bitty ram, uh, like some some silicone thing you put around your dick when it get hard and it squeeze that motherfucker like you do a balloon and make that motherfucker blow up. You hear it? Make that motherfucker look bigger than what? What <laughs> make that saying. motherfucker look like that ball and hot link in a pot? You ever, you see the you ball and hot link? Yeah, like a, like and, a sausage. And that motherfucker <laughs> pull up, up. It start to bust. Yeah, yeah. that's what that motherfucker look. Make that motherfucker like it about to bust. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but I got some. So make sure you order. You got, they called the Charlies. Yeah, hey, man, the y'all type in. yeah, yeah, they <laughs> made sure. the stretch to fit. <laughs> www.therealcharlestonwhite.com. Hell yeah. So like tell me about tell me about you and Dewberry relationship. How y'all met? Uh that nigga came to the boys home on a murder case. Uh Dewberry had a 28 year sentence when we when he was 15 years old for for killing killing somebody at a club. Uh one of our other homeboys were having a fight. Uh, our partner Patrick Weatherall. Uh they both from West Dallas. So uh Shit, outside the club, Dewberry ended up killing somebody. Uh, so when he came down there uh, to, to the boys' home, uh, I had already been there for probably like maybe barely a year. So uh, a whole bunch of them niggas from Dallas had came. And uh, all them niggas looked look tough and cool. And, you know, I was on the gang bang and shit. Uh, and really just kind of uh, make a long story short, we didn't, we didn't click at first. Uh, the nigga within... Shit, nigga, within a year, nigga, we've we, we been tight since 92. Okay. 1992, we ain't never had an argument, a squabble. Uh, my nigga did 18. Uh, shit, I was fucking with my nigga in. Uh, before we went, uh, while he was in there, and shit, when my nigga came home, I was there to barbecue for him. Yeah, yeah, we've been rocking. Yeah. We done pimped together. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. Y'all might got to do a tag team match together in the celebrity box and shit. Uh, yeah, we trying to, uh, but. but who y'all gonna, who y'all gonna fight? Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, who y'all gonna Whoever want to fight, but we trying to get Big, big Titty. He, yeah, yeah, we want, yeah, we want <laughs> hold him. Big, yeah, Big Titty them. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiwi can't take no punches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kiwi like the like the Pillsbury dough, man. You know, when they poke him in his stomach and yeah, his stomach go, go <laughs> yeah. He ain't hey, he hollow on the inside. He got sure. yeah, he ain't got nothing holding that muscle. Hey, I gotta ask you, man, um, because I'm a producer, man, so I gotta ask you like some music questions, man. Yeah. Why you say fuck the rappers, man? They the fakest niggas in the hood. Tell me why. Um uh, most rappers don't don't do what they rap about. And then most rappers aren't big dogs. So 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 most rappers are weenies. It's it's the niggas in their crew. That's the that's the niggas that's known for shooting. So take the rapper away from his shooters. When he walk through the neighborhood, uh nobody really respect him. Uh put the rapper and take the rapper back to the city where he's from, put him in the room with all the big dogs, and I bet if he started talking, wouldn't nobody be quiet. People would over talk him. So I know the rapper is, is the rapper is mimicking the street nigga. He ain't that motherfucking street. Uh, most rappers, if they go to jail, they're not calling no shots. But when they get this microphone, they'll talk as if they calling shots. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, most rappers are good kids that just have a, a ability to rap. But they're going to rap like they're street, like they're gangster. Uh, so I, I know this, homie. Uh, 
you know, and and they, and they the one really misleading the kids. How do they, how do they um how do the rappers be approaching you when they see you? Oh. Uh, or at least recently. On? Do uh, it be on or they be hollering? Uh, YouTube thugging. Mo, mo, most of them are cool, homie. Uh, okay. I, I, done, I done met all of them from Fred, Fred O'Bang. Uh, nigga, I, I, I done met a whole slew of them. Uh, T Real, uh, T Grizzly. Nigga, I, I, done met a, I, I done met a whole bunch of them, homie. And I, mo, most, mo, for the other than Soldier Boy, I ain't had no motherfucking problem. Uh, yeah. And Soldier Boy You still got that mace? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and Soldier Boy didn't 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 approach me in no threatening manner. That means uh, he got dummies. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That nigga, he he just approached me with too many niggas. Yeah, yeah. But uh, even even he was like, uh, I want to talk. Yeah. So yeah, nah, man. Uh, them niggas just be mad online because in, in all actuality, nigga, I ain't done nothing to nobody yeah. for a nigga to really have no problem. But what? Like what if, you know what I'm saying for the people who got a problem with you you know what I'm saying what you say on the line and feel like you just be talking online YouTube thugging and uh, shit Oh hit like me that. in the mouth I ain't been hitting the mouth yet Yeah yeah I'm the always told if you don't like what a nigga say hit him in the motherfucking mouth sure. And I bet he shut nigga ain't hit me in the mouth yet so they, sure. they must can't like it too much Uh what what I say uh make a nigga feel some kind of way cuz it's the truth It's a lot of people right now that's getting on the internet bro that's just, you know what I'm saying, speaking their truth. Like, even with, like, the, you know what I'm saying, speaking their truth and making their money, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. Yeah. But like, even with, you know what I'm saying, this cat, 1090 Jake, he he exposed all the rappers right now, all their paperwork and everything. How you feel about, you know what I'm saying, when you just see all these rappers fake like you been saying? Uh, it, but it ain't just the rappers, homie. The street niggas yeah, fake, street too. Niggas too. Let, let me just say this. Everything about the streets is fake. Everything about gangsterism is fake. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a facade, homie. It's a, it's a smokescreen. So, so being a gangster is like trying to capture smoke in a bottle. It's, it's, sure. a, it's yeah, homie. So, all gangsters tell, right, nigga. You can go Sammy the Bull, one of the most notorious. All of them break, homie. At, uh, at some point, uh. It, it ain't been a gangster who don't go to jail and bend over and let the guard look in his ass. <laughs> That's part of going to visitation. For sure. That's why I came up with that song, do the visitation, do the visitation. Yeah, homie, because <laughs> this the part of being a gangster. Uh, nigga, at some point, a gangster lay with a man. Yeah. So do you feel like they should be mad at 1090J, though? Like, for what the paperwork he putting uh, out and shit? Uh, uh, Is he wrong? Uh... Nah, he ain't he ain't wrong, but okay. you know, uh, uh, are we wrong for for entertaining him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, we, we and, and we, you we see, like you know, for example, him. you know, he just posted the other day, like, look how much money I mean, I'm, I'm making, making a million. I'm making a million dollars off you, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, he we said it too. Uh, uh, <laughs> we we because we entertaining it. We we entertaining it. Uh, but so so it's like it's like we can't be mad at the record labels. For giving us the type of music that they giving us, what is the record label? Nah, homie, they giving us what we ask for. What we, what they see, we want. Yeah, we have a, it's, it's a supply and demand. We have you're a right, desire. Right. We have a desire to see another black man kill. For sure. Uh, we want to see it on television now. We, we want. What's the little nigga that got killed in the car in, in California? We on that live one time. Uh. Oh. He supposedly dissed Nipsey Hussle and all that, and he got killed on, on camera. Uh, oh, I seen that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever his name was. Homie. I don't remember his name, but I know exactly what so, you're talking about. So he was on live. We we want to see a nigga get smoked on TV. We don't want to see a white man get smoked. Mm -hmm. We want to see another nigga get smoked. We we wake up every day to kill another black person. White people can do to us whatever they want to do with us, homie. White people can wake up tomorrow and kill five innocent black babies, rape five innocent black women at church, and won't nobody die. Yeah. Nigga, tonight at a club, a nigga will die just because he stirred at another black man, and he from another side of town, and he consider him an op. So we don't never think to harm nobody else, homie. So that's why I shame the rappers, because the rappers won't make one fuck the police song. They won't make one keep your head up song. They won't make one dear mama song. Every song is about making another black man mama cry, making his children absent, and putting him in the ground. And you niggas do this with pride, homie. 
You so quick to shoot the motherfucking gun, but soon as the police say, freeze, motherfucker, you put your goddamn hands up. Soon as the police stop you with a gun, you want to put the gun where everybody got to try to say, no, nah, nigga, go to jail for your gun. Facts, facts. So, it, it, so, so I'm saying, okay, you nigga so tough, go win. Why you nigga, want, why you nigga don't want to go to jail? That's where all the gangster niggas go, jail and in the graveyard. Okay, every time a nigga go to jail, what you gangster niggas hollering, free my nigga. I ain't never heard the mafia say free my nigga. I ain't never ho- heard the cartel and them go holler, hey, free my guy. Hey, I, you don't hear that shit, nigga. <laughs> so, when, sure. so when one of them get killed, first thing these niggas doing, crime, making T-shirts. My nigga, y'all kill people. What y'all sad because this nigga, what this nigga dead for? You can't speak on the dead. Nigga, y'all kill people. Why you can't speak on this shit? For sure. Y'all got nigga mamas crying for the next 20 years on Christmas and on Mother's Day because y'all done killed her baby. Come on, my nigga. Even speaking on, you know what I'm saying, mamas and stuff like that, bro. How you feel like, you know what I'm saying, matter of fact, the question is, is, you know what I'm saying, everybody want to know, did you really call... CPS on Le King and Finesse two times. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> he talking about I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, what what I saw in that video, uh, the most recent video where I seen Le King just got knocked out by another little boy. They were making fight. Damn. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's see this video ain't going viral because yeah, Le King get that. that. I, I I got it. Uh, so uh, yeah, now nah, homie, the threats that that kid made toward me, uh. And knowing the environment that he's in, me working with kids, I'm obligated to call CPS once I became aware of it. Uh, I wasn't aware of King's situation until he cussed me. Mm. Uh, so I made a joke about the kid uh, being in the clubs. And so they took the joke and let a 10. So if y'all real street niggas, homie, why would y'all let a 10-year-old kid get on camera talking to a nigga y'all think is the police? Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, do you yeah. really call the police? Yeah, I really call CPS, nigga. <laughs> so, like, you really call, like... Yeah, you, nigga, you do something in my neighborhood, I'm going to call the motherfucking police on your ass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a video right now, me the other day, nigga going viral. Nigga, right now, nigga where a 12-year-old kid came up missing. Nigga, I called out the names of the nigga responsible for the death and said, you nigga better turn yourself in, nigga. We better <laughs> oh, go to war. And y'all go help pay for this funeral, bitch-ass nigga. Damn, and I'm going to die, kill, and go to jail behind that. So how you um how you feel about um the mama just that just got off you know for her son killing you know homeboy? Oh uh, she she was wrong in a motherfucker homie. Oh uh, as a mother. And why you say that? Oh uh, as a mother you don't you don't you don't allow you don't put your son in no position to to act as a man. That's number one. Uh first and foremost the guy was wrong in a motherfucker for putting his hands on her. Oh yeah. Uh but if she was like my mother she would have never got her hands put on her because once he started saying bitch this here. A woman will immediately remove herself. Once a man rear up, say bitch, a woman would turn around and flee. Come on, baby, let's go. Yeah, and you low key, I'm you know, I you know, not I'm not saying her. nothing's wrong or right, but you know, you do hear in the background after she got punched, a lady said, you know, he told you. He so told, but, but you let know, me just say this. You, Everybody like, you know. was wrong, right? Yeah. Except the kid. Homie, listen, except the kid, right? So a woman don't argue back and forth with a man. A woman don't argue with a fool. Woman, once he go to doing this, why you still going back and forth with this goddamn man? Bitch, you better, oh, I'm telling you, why you still going back? So when your son come in, why do you have to say, baby, go get in the car? I'm leaving to go get in the car. A woman will remove herself when she knows it's danger, possible danger, disrespect. A bitch or a hoe gonna stay there and argue a point. So... He wrong for putting his hands on her. She wrong for standing there because they was there for minutes going back and forward. Mm-hmm. As a woman, as a lady, and you he don't was do that. telling her, grab your food like just As go, a woman and as a lady, yeah. knowing your son is in the car. <clears throat> the third wrong is who leaves a gun out where a kid has access to it. Yeah, he got that bit fast. Who, who, what responsible gun owner, what responsible adult, who gave this kid access to this gun to come in and cuff it and put it in his pocket like a grown nigga? So everybody Mm. sitting back saying, well, yeah, man, that kid did the right thing, but that kid life is forever going to be changed. For sure. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all have ever killed anybody, have ever participated in a murder, or have stood there when somebody's been watched. Your life is never the same. What what you, even if you go to a funeral, when they open up the casket, 
you will never forget what you see. You'll never forget seeing that dead body in the casket. I don't give a fuck how old you get. Every funeral you go to, you'll remember every dead body face you look at. If you think this kid won't have nightmares about this incident forever, you can't, man, you don't kill nobody. I don't give a fuck if you're justified. I know killers who, nigga, they, they still have dreams about it. Mm -hmm. Every nigga I'm with is a killer. Nigga done killed somebody. Uh, it, it don't go away. For sure. Why you never been on no jumper, bro? Uh, uh, I don't like white boys that, that like niggas like that. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't like white boys that send the niggas like how he and the niggas. I'm they talking real, about they real different down there in LA <laughs> too. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in there. the white guys that send the niggas like that, homie. <laughs> no, no, he he he's in the all gang bang. Yeah, uh, and, like Brit, baby. And 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 and, 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 and one thing I one thing I've seen about no jumper. Uh, nobody who's ever been on this platform have ever elevated from being on this platform. Mm. And I feel like I feel like at first it was like that. Like he was going somewhere at first. I feel like he was supporting he was. the culture. You know, he was putting people on, and then it just turned into like just gang banging beats, homie. Bullshit. Niggas get beat up, yeah. You know, like yeah, niggas fucking I don't trannies. Need all kinds. Of when I see his shit, I'm like, I yeah. scroll so, past. So it's not in a, it's, it's different. Not, you know? It's different. Uh, you don't hit so, the same. so 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 so. Nobody benefit. I've seen nobody go on no jumper, homie, and, and they elevate from being on no jumper. I've seen people go on Vlad and elevate. I've seen people go on no cheese, uh, say cheese. I've seen people go on on, on big facts, dirty glove. Uh, uh, yeah, so I've seen people even go on DJU. Yeah. Uh, uh, Queens. I've seen people go on all, but not 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 Vlad because I mean not no jumper because he's he, he he's he's really nigga gang banging and. And porn stars. Yeah, really. I mean, what you think about his wife? You seen that shit? But I told y'all she. I told y'all she wanted some nigga dick three, four <laughs> years ago. I've been telling y'all, man, she been because he got too many niggas around. And uh, yeah, he got too many niggas around. So yeah, uh, and, and, and so now, nah, man, uh, uh, yeah, I can't imagine, you know, what he thinking about, uh, you know, seeing that 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 tall, uh. Black brother with them big broad shoulders, uh, <laughs> pushing, pushing that ham hawk off of that girl, uh, and she liking it and squirming and, and, and squirting and coming on it, and he got to listen and watch that, <laughs> knowing she secretly liked that motherfucking me, well, that it. nigga, that nigga torpedo. <laughs> she, boy, you lying to me. So I got my co-host Trini here with me, and she got a question, a couple questions to ask you. All right. Okay, so what are some turn offs and turn ons about a woman for you? A turn off, uh, a woman that talk too much. Yeah, yeah, I hate a woman that talk too much. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think women are quiet, uh, meek, and, and, and yeah, uh, they aura uh, and, and their strength comes from, uh, they have a silent strength, their silent presence. Uh, uh, a turn on for me, is uh, I love to see a natural woman. Uh, yeah, I'm super turned on by a woman when you catch it without no makeup on. Okay. Uh, and, and her hair did. Yeah, that's a okay. big turn on for me. And do you like squirters or creamers? I'm a boy. I'm I'm a I like a squirter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a shower, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm a boy. That's just boy. That squirt motherfucker is like a winning lottery ticket. Everybody <laughs> don't get to get one. I mean, one. you fuck with golden showers. I don't want to be peed on. I, nigga, squirting ain't pee. Squirting, no, no. Uh, I want, uh, man, the squirter, man, shit, man, that's like fucking a swimming pool. Uh, you know, uh, uh, man, yeah, that squirter is, 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 is directly sent from God, I believe. Uh, but no, nah, I don't want to be peed on. Uh, okay. I want to be squirted on, not on my chest or nothing. But in my, I want fucking. I want yeah, squirting while we fucking. I don't want my face down there and be squirted. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, and would you let se would you take sexy red to Pound Town? Sexy red? Nah, hell nah. She thugging too hard, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, she go burn a nigga. <laughs> yeah, she, you you fuck her two three times, you go get burnt. Um, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I ain't fucking sexy red. What about getting your ass eat? No. No? Oh, <laughs> uh, no man alive should be getting his ass ate. Uh, my, I do stand-up comedy, and I asked that question. Uh, who whispered in the guy's ears and said, hey, guys, you know if you get your ass played with, it feels good. Who came up with that shit? <laughs> oh, no, dog. Yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, 
No, I don't want nothing back there feeling good. What about your toe sucked? Uh, I don't like my dick sucked. I'm a I'm a fucksman. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, head tickle. <laughs> head tickle. That shit, man, I don't want to be tickled. I, 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 I like pussy. I don't like, I don't like head at all. I'm a pussy pumping motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, skip the head. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm on, and I'm on calm quick on the head. Yeah, yeah. I'm on energizer bunny the pussy. <laughs> but on that head, nigga, I ain't gonna last long. And it tickle. So no gooch licking at all. Occasionally, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a I'm a once in a time pussy eater. Yeah, I may, maybe I'm a twice a year pussy eater. Uh, a New Year's <laughs> Eve, a year. New Year's Eve drunk, and, and 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 birthday drunk. Okay, okay. And what's your celebrity crush? Brittany Renner. You can yeah, handle that tall shit. Who? That tall shit you can handle? No, 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 no. You talking about Brittany? Oh, Brittany Griner. You said I'm Brittany Renner. So you, I'm saying you can still handle that though. Brittany Renner? Yeah, that's she ain't a lot. Tall. I know. I'm saying, but that's a lot, though. I told you I had the grown man dick in the third grade. <laughs> Nigga, I had the high school dick in third I'm grade. Take Brittany Renner. She needs. Man, I had the high school dick in third grade. So yeah, now nah, man, uh, I used to ooh and all the babysitters when I was a little bitty boy. So now, nah, man, uh. Yeah, uh, Ruby Rose and Brittany Renner. They're my two crushes. Okay, you say Ruby, Ruby Rose. Rose. So if yeah, you yeah. had a chance to pick five minutes with one, who would it be? Renner. A Renner. He <laughs> talking about Renner. Renner. <laughs> Brittany Renner. Yeah, boy, that goddamn Brittany. So what's your favorite feature on a woman? A pussy. No, nah, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I got a daughter. I got a daughter. Her brain. Her brain. He's talking about her brain. Yeah, I need, a, I need a bitch that can think. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah her brain. She got to have some thinking abilities. Oh. So have you, you know what I'm saying, since you've been in the industry, have you been, you know what I'm saying, had any industry girlfriends? Yeah. He's talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, a, yeah, I got some industry girlfriends. Okay. We ain't fuck yet, though. Oh, yeah, um, fuck. Yeah, we secret lovers. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, yeah, we just, yeah, we just uh, what they call it? We fornicate in the mind. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We yeah, we fantasize and fucking in the mind. <laughs> hey, so for people, you know what I'm saying? Speaking on DJU, you know what I'm saying? For people that don't like that, don't know, was that real? No, nah, that shit wasn't real. So it was a skit. Uh, no, nah, I wasn't no skit. Uh, but it was made up. Okay. Uh, nah, man. Uh. Cause everybody seen all they seen was the gun. Well, well, you acting uh, crazy. You standing up. Yeah, he standing uh, that, up. That, 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 that was that was the end of the video. That was the last. That was the last minute and a half of a of a two and a half three hour video. And, and so ha had I not done that, those three hour videos wouldn't have reached a hundred thousand views. That one clip got like six hundred, seven hundred thousand views. Mm. The rest of that interview was so positive, it barely got twenty thousand. Sure. Did we uh, say something about? Before we get off no jumper topic, did we say something about his wife? Yeah. yeah. You did? No, you yeah, talking Lana, about his wife. Yeah, Lana. Lana She's that, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely uh, crazy. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot of women secretly uh, want to want just experience what the big black cock feel like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know? Because that's the only genre they really got, the BBC. They, yeah, so, you know, motherfucker go over there and peek at that BBC. <laughs> yeah. how, them, how them Texas girls is, man? Girls are girls. Yeah, you yeah. talking about girls? Girls are girls. girls, are girls. <laughs> they ain't no different because they hey, got Hey, I, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that's true because like my, my German homies out yeah. here, they said it's the same in Germany. Yeah, girls are girls, man. Yeah. Just, yeah. They, yeah. He said the girl rappers out there, they rapping like city girls out there, popping their shit. For yeah. sure. Oh, uh, but uh, You ever been out the country? Nah. Uh -uh. You want I, to? I, nah, not really. <laughs> nah. What do you think about, you know what I'm saying, Tyler Perry owning BET now? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> what do you think about Michael Jordan selling the Hornet? <laughs> it's the only time I never seen him answer a question. Uh, yeah, I ain't into them niggas. Uh, uh, Tyler Perry go give us more movies of the of the of the dark side, subservient. Weak black man. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Tyler Perry. Okay. Oh, uh, I feel like Tyler Perry is a, is a, is a, is an undercover punk. Uh, can we say that on real? You can say what you Ooh, want. Nah, to say. I already said it. it has to edit it. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like he he done the black culture, uh, in this generation of of, of black people a disservice by he himself playing Madea. Uh, uh, 
most most kids today think Maria is a man that dress up a, as a woman. Uh, but nigga Maria was very uh uh she's a very prestigious title to to have and wear, nigga. And mm-hmm. and it's a lot of black women that could have played Maria. A lot of them. Yeah, homie. Sure. Uh, and, and he could have gave us a real Maria. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So uh. Now, nah, nigga, Maria would kept the family together. We yeah. fed everybody. She the one came in and say, "Boy, y'all get y'all hook glass up right now and get out clean up. Who who feet stink right now? That's put them shoes on the back porch, nigga. What wrong with you? So that's who came and checked in when Granddaddy wasn't around. Sure. So uh, yeah, I think he done us a disservice. I think his movies uh display and 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 and, and portray black men in in, in 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 a very uh a very weak light. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a bullshit nigga. I don't give a damn about no motherfucking Michael Jordan. Uh, I, I was a Magic Johnson fan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a point. I, I always had the concept of being a point guard. Nigga coming down the co- court, passing the ball, throwing alley hoops, behind the back passes, no look, you know, making my teammate. Yeah. Nigga, I'm the, I'm the kind of nigga passing the ball. Okay. I don't want to shoot and score all the points. That's the selfish nigga. Yeah, yeah, so Michael Jordan have always been selfish. Uh, Michael Jordan uh, probably made one of the worst, one of the worst sports deals in the history of sports when he signed with Nike. Y'all think he getting a bunch of money, but the percentage that Michael Jordan get, nigga, he getting fucked. I had to break fucked. that down. I had to break that down to my <laughs> homie one time, bro. And he was just like, "Boy, no, nah, he getting fucked. He done was a dumb deal. He no, nah, he, nah, he getting fucked. Nigga, if 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 y'all don't, 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 don't be knowing what them contracts. What he post that? But, but but he only getting like five percent though, homie. You can I read it. Know. So 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 just think, my nigga. If I if I make three hundred million, but I only give you two hundred fifty thousand, and I done made three hundred million off your name, but you only getting two hundred fifty thousand. That's kind of like the deal he getting on. He keep making trillions, so the little small amount, and then he don't own it. He, he he don't own it. Uh, and 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 not once, and, and not that he's obligated to homie, but uh, homie, there was a time when nigga really was dying over Michael Jordan's. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, uh, not once have he ever came out. Uh, yeah, so he, he's not obligated to, homie. So it was just my personal opinion. But now, nah, nigga, fuck him and his basketball team. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about sports no way. I think basketball players and football players and rappers are all the dumbest niggas on earth. So if, I believe if you line up uh, basketball players, rappers, and football players as, as our representative to the rest of the world, we'll have the weakest man on stage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 cause yeah, them they just be, body strong. Oh, uh, they just body strong, homie. Uh, and the rappers not body strong. Most of them niggas can't throw a baseball. They can't throw a football and look cool. Most of them niggas can't throw straight punches. They they on be flicked. Yeah, ESPN. Uh, they just fired everybody out there. Yeah. Man. So 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 when you realize that eighty five percent of 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 football players are broke five years after leaving the league, I think it's like eighty. Might be ninety percent of NBA players go broke five years after leaving the league. Yeah. So these niggas just big tall dummies, big strong dummies. Uh, so nah, them them ain't the niggas I respect. Uh, the niggas I really look up to is the nigga that get up and go to work every day. Facts. Why you think you know what I'm saying? Why you think Boosie won't respond to you no more? Oh, he did. He, he I'm saying no more. Uh. Well, he got way more problem than me to be trying to respond to me right now. Mm-hmm. Fuck, he worried real. about me for and then they got the feds on his ass. Yeah, nah, he better not. Man, he got way more other shit to worry about. And then he on there crying about Empire guys and them done fucked him. So he got way more problem than me now. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, tomorrow, tomorrow, man, in Florida, bro, our guns, our gun laws change. You know, yeah, our gun law is way different. Y'all, everybody gonna be able I don't to know tote. I heard him. about that. Everybody finna be what able. What you mean, to like everybody. open conceal? Oh, well, that's what we got in Texas, nigga. As long as you're not a convicted felon, nigga, yeah. you you yeah, can that's be. That's how you, it's gonna be. You can be at the gas pump in Texas with an extendo hanging out your pocket. Oh, yeah, see, we never had that till now. Yeah, till like, now. Till tomorrow. New, till tomorrow. Tomorrow, they, it's gonna be legal. Well, you got some machine gun bros right there. So they, <laughs> those are firearm instructors right there. They teach and give license. They got the gun <laughs> ranges and everything. Hell so, yeah. uh, they probably are some of the only people I know. Legally own switches and all that type of stuff. So fully automatic machine gun. I just feel like personally with that law being so new in Florida, people, Bro, the dummies it. are going to think like the felons and everything. Yeah, like yeah. the dummies are going to think, oh, I can carry. 
Nah. Da -da -da. I can carry that. Uh, but believe me, a lot me, of people uh, about to get jammed up. Uh, most felons know they can't carry no gun. Yeah. Uh, they make it loud and clear, nigga. It mm -hmm. ain't nothing you can do to get this right back. Uh, what what it's really gonna do is it 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 it, it evens the playing field. Yeah, yeah, now nah, homie. Uh, when everybody know everybody got a gun, uh, most niggas ain't shooting gun. Mm. Because when you shooting at me, it might be somebody over there shooting at you. When Mo Three got killed, homie, it was just an innocent guy in the car shooting back at the people shooting at Mo Three. So, uh, yeah, bring it back to the Wild Wild West. <laughs> uh, yeah, bring it back to the Wild Wild West. For sure, I support uh, it. Uh, because this is what I know: most young people, this, most niggas going to go get a gun, don't know how to break the gun down, don't Nothing. know how to clean the gun, Nothing. don't know how to shoot the gun. Don't know what proper bullets to put in the gun. How to load it. Uh, yeah, so they, they just listening to whatever guns uh, that the rappers say get. And, and they getting some of the most uh, inefficient gun, in, inefficient. I'm going to say ineffective gun. They just getting guns that'll slaughter a bunch of people. So when they shooting homie, they ain't really go hit who they shoot. They ain't, at. Aiming mm -hmm. the, they ain't shooting the aim. Yeah, and, and, and then... So, so when they buy these military style guns, when they buy these Call of Duty ass guns, where where do they go practice to shoot them at? Where where do these niggas learn to shoot these guns at? Nowhere until they start to shoot out. Yep. In the earth, da, 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 da. where they where they learn to go shoot these motherfucking guns at home? Mm -hmm. Nowhere, home. They don't. They, 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 don't. they not experienced in none of this shit. They so, ain't never been to no range and probably nah. shot none of that. No, nah, so they did. They just got guns, homie. Oh. Uh, most of the time, when, when they say the guns is jamming, they don't really know what they're talking about. Homie, they just buying the wrong kind of ammo. Yeah. They always try to, you know what I'm saying, block our head off of something. You feel me? Just like they just, just like they tried to block everybody's mind with this submarine thing, bro. Like, how you felt about that? You know I, what I'm saying? I, that was I, a hoax. That was real. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't pay it no attention. Uh, when, 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 when they fl flew the balloon across the sky, I didn't pay it no attention. Okay. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get in to what they give me. Uh, I pay attention to what's not being said, what's not being talked mm -hmm. about, right? So, so check game. What pre video do we have of these motherfuckers in this submarine getting in the submarine? Bro, none. I'm telling you, I like, like, this my little, this my little, no this my little theory. I think it was a bunch of dirty, rich motherfuckers that had some dirt on them. First of all, if you rich, why are you gonna pay two hundred fifty thousand for that shitty ass sub? If I'm a billionaire, I'm gonna pay for the best shit and yeah, make facts. sure I got away to the top. I think it was a bunch of rich motherfuckers that had some dirt on them, and they like we finna start a new life, change our identities. What way to fake a death? Go see uh, the Titanic. What if it never happened? What if nobody never? I don't died? think they ever went down. I there. don't think they ever but, went because, down there. Because check game, homie. Uh, what if nobody? What if nobody? What if they just playing on us? That's like Elon Musk uh, and Mark then, going down. And then, there. mind you, there was—I don't know if y'all heard, but like, people were saying like that was a distraction because there was a there was another boat on the way to Europe with thousands of immigrants and that shit sunk. Yeah, I seen that. And nobody was really talking about that shit. Everybody was talking about the submarine. These, you know, these billionaires. Yeah, nah, I, I don't, I don't believe nothing. For real, I think everything is bullshit. For yeah, real, like the uh, AI shit, the AI uh, intelligence. I don't believe nothing, homie. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't believe nothing. I think everything is bullshit. Yeah, I think I everything just saying we the same see shit. is bullshit. I think every. I don't believe nothing. Yeah, I think everybody lie from the news. So in my mind is, uh, where the people just to, where the video at of them say, okay, y'all, give me a hug. We getting ready to get on. Yeah, here. like it's the Titanic. You would think, you know, what I'm that's saying? pretty uh, big. Where, where the where's the video of the people? Boating the screw in, said, okay, y'all, they're in here. Hey, okay, y'all. Where's the, where's the video of them being sunk down? Yeah, them uh, actually going down. Uh, nobody's been to the floor of the ocean. So what the fuck they mean is debris down there. It's mm -hmm. so fucking dark, you can't see at the bottom of the ocean. That's the abyss. And why would nobody's they? Nobody's been to the bottom of the abyss. Then they talking about they find If we debris. haven't, why would they? Oh, uh, <laughs> so nah, homie, I don't, I, I don't believe no submarine went nowhere. I don't believe nobody did. I just believe they just saying some shit. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the news is, is, is yeah, homie, propaganda that's propaganda shit. now, homie. Yeah, that shit so, ain't real news. For so real. I, I got a couple more questions for you before we get off here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why? How you feel, you know what I'm saying, about the people that think, you know what I'm saying, that you got a little man syndrome? I do. Motherfucker ain't lying. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I got a little man syndrome like motherfucker. I just got the grown man dick. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I had the grown man dick in the third grade. I just couldn't play football. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, man, I got, I got a little man syndrome. All great leaders got a little man syndrome. He Napoleon. said all great leaders? Napoleon the Great had a little okay. man come play. He was a little old bitty motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Conor McGregor, a little old bitty motherfucker. Uh, yeah, no, nah, man. He's talking about Conor McGregor. Yeah, uh, uh, now nah, Keevy ain't got a little man complex. Uh, he was a he was a bad built, insecure motherfucker because he had, <laughs> his thighs rubbed together before he got his his new body. Yeah. Uh, then he had a fat back. Now he got a oh, man. Now, now he got now he got, hey, now he got wide spe- broad speaking shoulders. Speaking on like speaking on like you know what I'm saying, like Tupac and Biggie them and stuff like that. Yeah, you know Keefy D be doing his interviews and everything like that and. How you feel like that? How that's gonna play out in like a year or two? You think he gonna end up getting, going to jail? No. Or he really got immunity for that shit? Uh, he telling y'all he got immunity. Yeah, that's crazy though. Oh uh, no, it's not. Uh, the feds gave homie Sammy the Bull out. Sammy the Bull yeah. got out. Yeah. Uh, homie, the feds will let you kill people and get out. The the the, the feds the feds love information. Uh, if you got information, homie, the feds are damn near let you be a serial killer. If you check their history, you just got to have the right kind of information. They'll let you do whatever you want to do. He That's, had it, boy. Uh, <laughs> see, most people think the government killed Tupac. And he tell you, no, nah, nigga, the government didn't kill Tupac. Tupac kicked the wrong nigga. Yeah, Tupac put his motherfucking hands on the wrong nigga. And, and, he, didn't, and he didn't have no business doing that, homie, because he, he wasn't no gangster. He ain't no cripping blood. But he running with the, with the mob, you know, the Pyro niggas. So uh, he he got his immunity, homie. That's why he's able to tell this story. Yeah. All them niggas done, done got their their immunity. Uh, Case closed. Yeah, motherfucker soft. Uh, yeah. Would you fight Wack One Hundred? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, yeah, I fight Wack One Hundred. <laughs> That's crazy. That's yeah, five hundred million. Uh, I fight him for five dollars. Nah, I was gonna, yeah. I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna ask you another question, yeah. but that was, that was yeah, because you just ask, ask yeah, what you gonna ask. Oh, five dollars. Hey, yeah. five hundred million or five minutes with Jesus? A five minutes with Jesus? Five hundred million. <laughs> Why five hundred million? Fuck, I'm gonna spend five minutes with Jesus for he ain't Lord. Yeah, nigga, fuck Jesus. I'm on God. Yeah, I'm on God. Yeah, nigga, fuck Jesus. Give me that five hundred million. I get five oh, minutes man. with Jesus. Okay, Jesus. I'll see you later. I, yeah, oh, give man. me God. Give me the Lord. For sure. Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg in a fight. Uh I'm picking Zuckerberg. You know, a lot of people said the same thing yeah, to me, too. Zucker, they saying man, Zuckerberg. Elon Musk, man. <laughs> man, uh, nah, man, I'm picking Zuckerberg, man. Uh, Zuckerberg, yeah, I got Zuckerberg, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he done went and learned some shit. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, man, he, uh, he... He might be the head of the CIA, and we don't know. That's a bad say, man. He done went and learned some shit. E- Elon Musk just a spoiled kid, homie, uh, playing, you know... Uh, he can play God. Uh, that Zuckerberg, uh, he, he, he a different kind of monster, homie. Yeah, yeah, the, the, just just his brain alone. Uh, to come from where he come from, building a social media platform in the college dorm, uh, to captivate the world with that platform and, and what he's done, uh, now he, he, he a different kind of creature. Yeah, he, him, him and that Steve Jobs, they, they would. They, yeah, they like that. I like yeah. them. Yeah, sure, two man. I wish people. Steve Jobs was still here, man. Yeah, yeah, he uh 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 yeah, he he was one of my inspirations. Uh, just just hearing him, you know, just talk about his life and, and what he wanted to do with his life. Uh, he he didn't want to change the world. He wanted to leave, leave an impact on the world. Uh, yeah, he he's left a major impact. Man, I remember when I was seven and the first iPhone came out. I was mind blown. Touch yeah. screen phone. I'm like, first what the iPhone. Fuck? I think sold for five hundred and fifty some dollars. Uh, it just sold two days ago for like sixty some thousand. A woman who bought it in two thousand and seven mm. uh, never opened it and took it out the package. She sold it for like sixty some thousand dollars. Come up, the first iPhone. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, Man, that's lit. You ever met Jay Prince in person? Uh, nah, nah. Uh, if you see him in person, what you do? You will fight him too? Uh, grown men don't fight. Yeah. No, nah, the okay. boys fight, homie. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, why why would me and him fight? I mean, I know y'all had a little bit of words. Well, we've never had words. Never had words never with J Prince. Words. Never. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the internet line. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Cause Them you, blogs they be feel talking like, crazy. They feel like everybody against, you know what I'm saying, Charleston. Uh, the whole world. That's why, we, you know what I'm saying, that's why we wanted to come in, you know what I'm saying, see the real you for ourselves. Uh, I've done I've done 33 comedy shows from uh, October to now. Uh, and nigga, all my shit posted online. Mm. Uh, shit, nigga, I spoke at, 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 at the day of a doll funeral. Nigga, I spoke at Sherwood Elementary School. Mm. Uh, in Memphis, uh, I went by myself. Uh, nah, homie, the the world ain't mad at me. Uh, the niggas online is offended by what I'm saying. Yeah, but but the world know I'm right. So uh, in real life, homie, uh, the internet is the internet is the devil. Uh, because for us, it's the master of deception. Uh, it don't tell the truth. Uh, you have to, you have to search through rubble to find the truth on social media. So, uh, the internet had y'all thinking that Jay Prince stopped an event that I had in Houston. Yeah. And I, I didn't have no event, homie. Mm. It was a woman that had a youth mentoring day. Mm. She, that didn't. So you already knew I was getting to. Yeah. yeah. It was a youth mentoring day, homie. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Kind of like propaganda in a way too. Like the blogs just be yeah, feeding it, blogs, creating the, stuff. All it takes is that one blog to post something, and then, and then everybody boom. else just go oh to spin it. After that, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so uh, that's what make that's that's why I've stood out, homie. Because I, I won't lie. I ain't go clickbait. I, I I ain't go get on. T- you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't fit to post nothing. That's a lie. Yeah. Uh, so you really do these, you know what I'm saying? You really be at these, at the, you know what I'm saying, the going to the Congress building, doing all that, you know what yeah. I'm saying, going to the city halls. You really do that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Because yeah. you know what I'm saying, a lot of people like, because I know you say you got a character and you doing, you know what I'm saying, you doing it for the character and everything. A lot of people don't watch your videos uh, that see, deep to understand. Uh, uh, Stuberry, throw me one of them phones. Uh, see, see, you, you notice, uh, how my, I really bought King Mama and them a brand new truck. Mm. Mm. Uh, his 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 older sister, his eighteen year old sister Naya, is I flew them to Vegas to go pick up a brand new truck I bought for them. The blog ain't go post that. Yeah, see, we yeah. don't never uh, see nothing good from you. That's crazy. I ain't saying that you don't do good. I know you do yeah. good. Yeah. You yeah. Oh uh, no, nah, no, nah, the small one, the small iPhone. Uh, no, nah, man. Uh, I, I just got a message today saying they already wrecked the truck. It's a brand new truck. Shit. Mm. Uh, man. <laughs> damn. Yeah, brand new 2023. Uh, uh, man, not the 2023. Damn. Yeah. So uh, the, the the blog the blogs ain't gonna post that. Mm. Uh, uh, the 12 year old uh who who I just spoke on the that video is going viral. They 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 they're not gonna post that. Uh. So, so, like, what's, some, what's something that, you know what I'm saying, that you want to tell, like, the world and your fans that, you know what I'm saying, that, that people don't know about nothing. you? Nothing? <laughs> no? Okay. No, 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 nigga. Because if I tell them the truth about me, then it then it kills the persona yeah. of, of what I done created. Okay. Mm. I need the bad guy, the villain persona, because mm. that's what sells. Yeah, but then, how, like, I know when you say that, right, but how you feel How you feel opposite about the rapper when they doing it, the fake persona? Uh, they not faking. Yeah. But the ones that is though. Well, name me one that is. Name me one rapper that's I faking mean, I like he gangsta. Name out the rappers on no, here. No, 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 listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Name me a rapper that's <laughs> rapping like they faking like they gangster. All of them pretending yeah, like they, they all really pretending gangster. like they gangster. Oh, all yeah. of all of oh, them yeah. acting like they really I see gangster. What you're saying. Yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? See, see if my preference and opinion is gonna be different, I get what you're saying. Nigga, I'm playing a comedian role. Mm. Yeah, I'm I on stage doing stand-up comedy. I got a Live Nation tour, nigga, mm. 56 cities. I'm on Live Nation website. So, nigga, I, I'm playing. And I'm telling y'all, hey, I'm playing, y'all. The rappers ain't saying, hey, man, I'm really, I'm not really a killer. Yeah. I don't really sell drugs. I've never sold drugs. They're not coming out saying that shit. They're acting like they really live this life. For sure. Mm-hmm. And, and then when they... And, 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 yeah, homie, so uh, I'm saying this. As everybody is watching this YMW Melly's case... Why nobody is on the side with the victims? Two niggas who trusted maybe a friend that got killed. Why everybody riding with the rapping nigga, homie, who possibly crossed his niggas? Or if not, cowered out and ran. Talk all this gangster shit, right? 
And then when my buddy and them car gets shot up, I'm hiding in the bushes watching it get shot up, and I never shoot back. But I'm talking like I keep that thing on me. Same with Nipsey Hussle, homie. How how nigga saying Nip Nip talk like he was a shooter and get caught without the thought thaw. He get killed in his own neighborhood with all these people around him. Nobody shoots back at the nigga. But we talking this gangster shit? Come on, homie. Same with King Vaughn. Nigga, the last word King Vaughn said, y'all let these niggas get me. We don't shame his homeboy for talking that gangster shit. We don't shame Boosie for making the, the security guard nigga take the pistol case. The security guard pistol is in the bag. The other pistol in the back. So when they stop us, Boosie tell on the nigga. That's what it says. So, nigga, we ain't going to shame. We don't feel sorry for Marlo Mike. We love the killers, right? So why everybody mad at Eric Holder? If we, we love killers till they kill somebody we love. We root for the killer. Till they, so why we not rooting for Eric Holder, my nigga? Nipsey called him a snitch. And if I ain't no snitch, what you supposed to do? Pow, pow. So yeah, the he, judge told Eric Holder she finna have a hard time. But he ain't had thing. a hard time yet, though. Mm. He been in prison all this time. Nigga, he got jumped on by some Mexicans in the holding tank. Not no niggas from the set. So when he get his then? He been in jail for quite Nipsey been dead a while. He ain't got it yet. So somebody lying to us about how this shit go. Same with the nigga kill King Von. All these big bad ain't nobody went and done nothing in the name of Von. Come on, my nigga. So don't tell me these niggas faking. But we, but but we're gonna show all the love to the to the to the to the dead rapper that done kill people. But what about the victims? Nobody have paid homage to Tuka's mama. Never even mentioned her name. The nigga I talked to one of the victims of YMW Melly's, one of the aunts of the niggas. Nigga, I done talked to Dobie mama, Tuka mama, nigga, uh, 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 Marlo Mike family member. I done talked to the victims of sea murder. Uh, I done talked to soldiers. Nigga, I, I done talked to all the victims. Why y'all clap for the rappers? So why why would I stand with the rappers when I done talked got the victim side? So why y'all support the killers, nigga, I rock with the victims. For sure. Y'all rock with these mothers that's burying these niggas that ain't getting no love once y'all put them in the ground. Nigga, you don't hear niggas riding around bumping Nipsey Hustle music. Where the marathon at? I thought the marathon continued. Who, who continued the marathon since y'all love Nip so much? So when the documentary came out about King Von, he a serial killer. Okay, y'all love a serial killer that can kill all these black people? Y'all worship an idol. Y'all, this is an idol worshiping generation of, of, of people, homie, and that's real evil. They worship these niggas. Yeah, that's you, you definitely right about that, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We definitely, you know what I'm saying? You didn't drop some gems on us. You know Respect. what I'm saying? Yeah. We definitely appreciate you. Uh, so, so let me just get this straight. For sure. it, 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 it ain't the man, homie. It's the, it's the image. It's the yeah. character. Uh, C Confucius, uh, you know, ha have a famous quote. He who controls images controls minds, right? So me being uh who I am and what I am, a youth advocate, a, a community activist. Uh, uh, I develop youth programs. So m me having the knowledge and the understanding that when I hear and see rap music now, homie, it, it's not just regular entertainment no more. This shit is a, a mind, it's a, it's a mind controlling tool that's being used with gangster images. That's why you don't see we used to have LL Cool J, a nigga who didn't talk gangster. He was cool. Trey Songz. Yeah, homie, we had cool, <laughs> Come we had cool Mo D, a yeah. nigga who was in a suit dancing. Now everything is gangster. Everything is drill, gangster drill. It's no more twister, fast tongue rapping. It's no thugs. more bone thugs and harmony. Mm. It's no more common. Nigga, they done even got rid of the, 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 the consciousness of a Kendrick Lamar. Nah, that's crazy you said that because... He ain't lying yeah, about J. that Cole, one. Lamar, Come on, homie, they didn't even kill that. that. They didn't kill that. So at you this point, Lucas, all that shit. Down Come on, my nigga. So at this point, man, nigga, everything gangster. So I'm Shh. saying, nigga, we need some new images. Yeah, and it's oh, bad in New York too. We with need that, some new they images sound in New York dog. is just yeah, kill, homie, kill, we need kill. some fly cool niggas that that he cool in the hood. He ain't gangster, but he ain't no punk. Uh, you know, the girls, like, we need some new images, my nigga. The, the schoolboy nigga that ain't gangster, but the girls like him. He make good grades. We Everybody need some, we need some more. Little Tyler. 
You ain't heard him yet? Uh-uh. Okay. You ain't heard Lil Tyler? Yeah, you gotta get on Lil Tyler. I ain't gonna lie, he a smooth ass, look cool nigga. Yeah. And, 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 and about him is like, you know. He not on no game. He not on no, and this is this is not even just him. It's like, I feel like, you know, Florida in general is coming out with this sound. It's like, it's, and me coming from New York, coming from that drill scene and all of that shit, like, the shit he on is like, get money, get fly. Get bitches, yeah. you know, yeah. like get, yeah. you know, get, you know, just fly nigga shit. Not on no kill, kill, kill. I have not heard a Lil Tyler song where he's like, "Oh, I'ma kill that nigga." Da da da. And he's bro, he's young. He's 17, blowing up right oh, wow. now. He just yeah, got see, signed. I, I heard a little kid named Xavier, man. Uh, Z- Xavier is one of the first kids to get on, to to get on YouTube. Uh, way back when, when he was like 12 or 13 years old. Uh, he he, he created the hashtags, right? So this kid Xavier, cre- he, he's in his 20s now. Uh, but he goes overseas w- with different kind of music, uh, and, and it's not drill music. Uh, so that's what that's that's the spirit of our culture that that we're missing, homie. Where kids can 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 it's a it's a variety pack, right? It's just like I look over there and see them chips over there, homie. It's a whole variety of pack. It ain't just no one thing. Uh, when we pick up our culture now, homie, uh, it destroys. Everything that we touch, everything that we embrace about this culture is detrimental. It's negative. Uh, nigga, from the way we treat our girls, nigga, to, to even remaining uh, friends with our partners. Uh, at some point, nigga, if you support YMW Melly, nigga, you support crossing your homeboys. You got to, because that's what happened in that situation. Uh, nigga, ain't nobody for to shoot my homeboy, nigga, and it ain't nothing to nothing that no, nobody know about it. Uh... Yeah, homie, I, I'm willing to be a whole ass nigga to do what's right in life, and, and I think that's, I think, uh, I think, a lot of people losing uh, that element of willing to make a sacrifice to do what's right. Yeah, and, and I just got to that point in my life, where, nigga. I just want to do what's right, homie. I don't want to do wrong to nobody, which I know I'm gonna do wrong in life, but I'm not intentionally doing wrong to nobody. For sure. Yeah. It's my last question to you before you get off here, bro. Can we look, you know what I'm saying, look forward to you to being in movies and shit like that? Oh. Uh, uh, I in cast and roll. Feel like uh, that would be fire. Bro. I like got, that would be fire, bro. I actually fire. just got off the phone with a with a, with a big with a big time movie producer uh, uh out of Hollywood uh that wants to put me put put me in a a a, a big film role. Uh I, I accepted a role uh that I'm gonna play the brother uh, of actress D Hill, uh, so I just got that role offered to me like last week. Uh, I got a, I, s- I had to sign an NDA for a movie role, uh, where, where a movie producer wrote a, a script of of me being a community activist. Okay. Uh, you know, with me in mind, so I got qu- quite a few movie roles. Uh, once I got put on Live Nation comedy tour, uh, that's when I know they're taking me serious. Uh, you know, DJ Academics had me thinking uh, when he took me off the show or he canceled that show, he had me thinking that no one from the industry wanted to have anything to do with me because of my online antics. But nigga, they not giving us damn about that. They care about views. And so when you look at my analytical data, uh, there's over one billion hashtag Charleston Whites on TikTok. When you go to TikTok, just look, just type in hashtag Charleston White and look at that. You're going to see over 1 billion. Uh, it's like 50-something million hashtag Charleston White challenges. That's just on TikTok, right? Uh, that, don't, that don't include uh, a TikTok page by the name of Young Boss or whatever it is. He got over 2 million followers with nothing but Charleston White videos. Uh, between me and Say Cheese TV, we got over half a million, if not a billion, views on YouTube. We got over five million just this week alone. Uh, between my Vlad TV and so when you look at all of my, uh, my analytical data, uh, speaks volumes. That's why it's hard, uh, for people to uh, erase me, even though I'm shadow banned. Uh, so they're looking at the data, and and am I offensive? Yeah, at times. Uh, do I go overboard? Yeah. At times, but he also do numbers, and that's all that matters. 
Facts, facts. Yeah, that's all that matters. I so, uh, yeah, so uh, I was given an opportunity, man, to host a Live Nation comedy tour with T.K. Kirkland, Grown Folks Talking. Uh, we kicked the tour off July 7th, 56 cities, uh, four countries. Uh, I got two movie deals. Uh, I got my own my own clothing line, brand line, man, so you can get my merchandise at www.therealcharlestonwhite.com. Uh, Go get your I, dick rings. Yeah, yeah, I got the <laughs> cock rings. So you can get that. So, so, you know, I got, I got, and then so I trademarked the word nigga. Okay. So, so I actually own the word. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Yeah. You did what? Yeah, I, I, tra- I trademark and I patent the word nigga, N I G G A. So I, I own that word in America. Uh, Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> nobody ain't never uh, do it before? Uh, Tupac tried it. Uh, Tupac, Tupac initiated it. Okay. Uh, but he died before he could. And so when I started talking it and, and saying it, uh, his family, one, one of his relatives reached out to me and uh, gave me the inspiration to go on and do it because that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to uh, brand never ignorant getting goals accomplished. Uh, so that's what I did. I picked up the torch and done it. So I own uh, N-I-G-G-A. Uh, an acronym, Never Ignorant Getting Goals Accomplished, uh, mm. by way of the U.S. government patent. Mm. That's lit. That's lit. Yeah. So I sell merchandise. So I got nigga hats, nigga shirts. I got the <laughs> nan nanny boo boo uh, shirts. I got the yeah, yeah, nah all shirts. Uh, I got keychains. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got some every time. Since even with that little, you know what I'm saying, that little slogan, yeah, yeah, nah, like, you know what I'm saying, did you come up with that or just like people in the comments just like, they they just like that's just something you just been saying you uh, been not, saying that. Uh, that's uh. That's my that's my thinking tool. So okay. you hear me saying uh uh I'm thinking. Okay. That's that's not a. It, it, like people he, be like oh um, yeah, yeah yeah no. So 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 if you notice when I'm saying yeah yeah no I done came I'm thinking and I done yeah. came up when I'm for the yeah yeah no 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 so I'm really thinking so I'm wrestling with my thoughts. Okay. Oh uh, that's me thinking out loud. Okay. Yeah, we definitely rocking with you over there. We are Florida podcast. Hell man. yeah, man! You know Appreciate you pulling up. Glad man. that you tapped in with yeah, us today. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I, tapping I'm, in with yeah. the young niggas. Yeah, I was just about to say, homie. Uh, 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 my uh, I, I, w- I was real lethargic. Uh, and, and real uh, I was real reserved because I, I didn't know what to expect. Facts. Oh, uh, I ain't know what kind of young niggas y'all were. Or nah, we, some, uh, we some reserved. Young niggas. Uh, well, yeah. well, I, I, I see, I, I see for one. Uh, because of the presentation that that y'all take this serious, for sure. So that that made me relax, you know, Lord 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 McGaw. I say, okay, they I can see they taking this serious. Yeah. Uh, and then I see how professional your staff is. Uh, That's serious. And, and, and they seem and they seem a little bit older. So when he came in with his baby face, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he come in with his goddamn baby face. I said, oh, man, this is gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, uh, just how just how y'all went in with the questions? Yeah, uh, y'all brought out uh, the best of me, homie. So yeah, I appreciate that. For sure, for sure, man. Definitely yeah. wrong with that. That's yeah. fine, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for yeah. sure, man. And, and, and and y'all going somewhere with this, homie? Appreciate, appreciate it. I promise bro. y'all. Yeah, y'all stay consistent. Uh, y'all keep this up, young. Uh, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all got something here, homie. Yeah, so appreciate y'all coming that. Back. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate that, man. Fam. We are Florida Podcast, man. Presented by Mitts One Centers, man. We tapping out with Charleston White, man. Keep striving, keep going up. You know what time it is. Let's ride, gang. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. We gonna get you.